Hey guys, it's Izzy here and today we are going to be looking at the books that I've read that Goodreads considers the worst books I've ever read. So these are the lowest rated books according to Goodreads. So let's see if I agree or if I disagree. We'll just have to see what happens. Let's get into it. <laughs> Goodreads, so I'm doing this so y'all know like there's like I haven't been spoiled I haven't looked at it yet so this app does only stay forward to load so we're clicking red and then we're clicking the three dots at the top I think that's what okay no so we're in I have it currently sorted by dates red but we're going to go by average rating and then we are going to do it from um, reverse that so it will be from the lowest here we go ooh This is interesting. Okay, so the first one is Murder in Westminster, which I gave a three star and its average rating is a 3.4. So this is not really an order, which I'm, I don't know why, but okay. So um, this one, Murder in Westminster by Vanessa Riley. I don't think it's a bad book. I don't think it needs to be on here. So my review of it is a diverse and unique cast of characters. This was a historical mystery. Accuracy plays a big part. And you can definitely tell that the author did her research on Regency England. The writing was the downside as I didn't like the dialogue of the characters. It just felt too modern. The plot was your typical mystery and I did find out who the killer was before the characters did, but that did not hinder my reading experience. This was a good book and I would still recommend it. So I mean, it wasn't a bad book. <laughs> Our next one is, this is one I was trying to tell the dental hygienist about the other day, but I could not remember who the writer was. It's The Perfect Date by Evelyn Lozada. I give it a three star. This was actually the first romance book that I ever read and I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know what I would rate it now. I give it a three star back then in 2019 and yeah, fake dating just is not really for me. I don't really like fake dating. Then this one I gave a one star, and that's Topics of Conversation by Miranda Popkey. So its average rating is a 2.82, so very low. Um, my review here is this character. I do not think that their name was ever mentioned. They were just so negative, and this book seems... Like it's supposed to be about feminism, but I feel like the main character is judging every other woman. That is realistic, I guess. The writing was my biggest issue with the book. It was run on sentences, it's very choppy, too many adjectives I could use to describe it. I don't know if this book was just very random or if it went over my head. Then this one I didn't rate because at the time I wasn't writing like short stories or anything. And that is things we or things have gone worse since we last spoke by Eric LaRocca. So I, my review is very disturbing. The setting of this being a chat room and emails made the story go by quickly. The writing was great and I honestly wasn't expecting it to be so well written. And that has an average three star. Now we have The Paul Bears Club by Paul Trimley. I give a two star and its average rating is a 3.14. I enjoyed the characters as this actually read like a real memoir. This just seems, they just seemed so real. I love the sass that Mercy had and art was just eh. The setting was cool and I enjoyed the pop culture references that were made throughout. Perfect for this time of year, October. The writing is where my major problem is. This went on for far too long. Chapters over 50 pages and paragraphs that are half a page in length. Mercy even tells Art that the reader won't like this and she was right. This took me three times the average it usually takes me to finish a book and it was less than 300 pages. I don't know if the writing just needed to be better or edited. I liked the story here and it wasn't like anything I've read in a while. So this has been one, two, three, four, that's five. So we'll keep moving here. This one's the one that I really didn't like and that's Leave the World Behind by Rumin Alam. Um, I give it a two star and its average rating is a 3.8. Um, so this book was just, they made everything sexual um, and I didn't think it needed to be. I don't want to read all these reviews for y'all because we'll be here forever. Now here's the shock. So Pirate Women, the princesses, prostitutes, and privateers who ruled the seven seas. I gave it a five star and its average rating is a 3.2. And let's see, I really enjoyed this book. It was probably my favorite nonfiction that I read this year and I'll have to look and see if Laura Sook to Come has other books out there that I can have the pleasure of reading. And just learn about how these women got into these situations, rather it would be they were born or married into it, joined into sea life, dressed as a male to get out of the society standards. It was just so interesting to read and I definitely wanted to read 
more about Pirates in the Future. Five out of five stars. We have Checkout 19 by Claire Louise Bennett. I give a three star and its average is a 3.22. That one is one that I definitely have to reread because it was a lot. Then White Fur by Jardine LeBaire. I give a four star and its average rating is a 3.3. Yeah, that's a book I definitely can see people either loving or hating where I loved it, but I can definitely see why people wouldn't like it. We had Da Vinci's Tiger by L.M. Elliot. This is a historical fiction. I give it a three star and its average rating is a 3.3. So yeah, um, I agree with that. Um, I was super excited to read a book um, taking place in Renaissance Italy. We had Goliath by Tochi Onyabuchi, um, which I give a three star and its average is a 3.30. And yeah, the characters, it wasn't great character work. The Medici Chronicles book one by Matteo Strucco. I give a four star and its average is a 3.31. Um, definitely I feel like translated books usually do fall victim of this kind of thing um, because sometimes you might lose stuff in translation so I can see that. The Lucky Ones by Julian Piccio. This was a short story collection so I didn't rate it but I really liked the writing but the average rating was a 3.31. All of Us with Wings by Michelle Ruse Kill. I give a three star and its average is a 3.33. This is like um, YA, magical realism, contemporary fantasy. Um, like it was more contemporary than fantasy in my opinion. And there's some cool ideas, but overall it just didn't like, land perfectly. So The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walden. I give a four star. I love this book and its average is a 3.35. I don't know why people wouldn't like it. I think there's a lot to like there. When the Sky Fell on Splendor by Emily Henry. I never realized it's Emily Henry. How does she write this and book lovers? Oh my gosh. So I give this a two star and its average rating is a 3.35. Let's see it. So this was an average read for me. I mean, I kind of feel like it wasted my time, but it was too late to complain about that now. I feel like this book would have been good with just Franny and Remy, but instead we got a whole pack of underdeveloped characters. The atmosphere was just a small town, nothing marvelous about it. The writing was like any old book. The plot was really cool. I just wish we would have got a better ending. This was an average read, nothing more to it. So it's like an alien, like first contact kind of story. So I do not expect that from Emily Henry. Like I'm stunned. So then we have Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva. <laughs> this is the book that Jane writes on Jane the Virgin. I give it a four star and it has an average of a 3.37. So um, definitely it's a TV novelization and those usually are not that good, but I thought it was, but I can see why other people wouldn't. We have the Beowulf graphic novel, which I don't rate graphic novels, but it has an average 3.39. Um, Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. I gave a two out of five and its average is a 3.35. The characters in this are underdeveloped. We should probably feel more for them. Just hearing from the narrator, we don't. The writing was bland and just boring. I kept skimming. The plot was really interesting, but there's still a ton of loose ends. This was a lot more psychological than I expected, but I enjoyed that bit. So. Those are some books that I read that do not have great reviews or ratings on Goodreads. Let me know. How do you feel about these? Have you read any of these, these books? Did you like or dislike them? Let me know in the comments below. So let's leave an alien emoji if you made it through this whole video. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.